Welcome back, my chiller bees. This is going to be my stand and deliver and WrestleMania 40 predictions video. We start off with NXT stand and deliver. First match is Kehlani Jordan, Thea Hale, and Fallon Henley versus JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. I think the heels win this one with JC Jane getting the win to further along the storyline between her and Thea Hale. Next up, we have the NXT North American Championship. Obafemi defending against Dijak and Josh Briggs. I gotta say, Obafemi's coming out of this one still the champion. No way he's losing the title this early. Next up, we have the NXT Tag Team Championship match. The Wolf Dogs versus Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Axiom and Frazier have been getting a lot of praise for their performance in the ring, but I don't see Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker losing this one. Next up, we have the NXT Women's Championship match with Lyra Valkyria defending against Roxanne Perez. Roxanne has been on a tangent lately, and I think she's going to get a run with the championship as a heel this time. Next up, we have the NXT Men's Championship match, Ilya Dragunov defending against Tony D'Angelo. While Tony has gotten praise from Shawn Michaels recently, I still think Ilya Dragunov retains to then defend against Trick Williams in the future. Which leads us to our main event, Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes. I gotta say, Trick's gonna win this one, and Carmelo's definitely moving up to the main roster real soon. Moving on to WrestleMania Night 1, we start off with Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. My thoughts on this are that Rey Mysterio waits until his retirement match to put over Dominic Mysterio. Rey and Dragon get the win. We have Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, and Naomi facing Asuka, Kairi Sane, and Dakota Kai. Damage control. It is my belief that Jade is going to turn on her team and cost Bianca the match, handing Bianca her first loss at a WrestleMania, keeping the tag champs strong, and igniting a new rivalry between Jade and Bianca. Next up, we have the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship ladder match no longer going to be undisputed as the winners will be splitting the titles, I guess. The match consists of Judgment Day's Finn Balor and Damian Priest defending their titles against DIY, Awesome Truth, The New Day, New Catch Republic, and A-Town Down Under. Call it the black and gold in me, but I think DIY are taking the Raw Tag Team titles and New Catch Republic are taking the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Moving on, we have Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso in a brother versus brother match. I think Jimmy really needs the momentum from this one, but Jay gets the win. Next up, we have the World Intercontinental Championship match, Gunther defending against Sami Zayn. I think Gunther retains and keeps on going. Next up, we have the WWE Women's World Championship match, Rhea Ripley defending against Becky Lynch. Rhea is too hot right now. I don't see how Becky winning benefits her. I have to say Rhea wins this one. Finally, we have our night one main event, Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. It's hard to think that Rock and Roman would lose this match, whether it be clean or via shenanigans. I can't see Cody and Seth winning this one on night one. We move on to WrestleMania Night 2 now with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits versus the Final Testament in a street fight match. I've got Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits winning and finally giving their team a name after being together for months now. Moving on, we have L.A. Knight yeah. versus A.J. Styles. No. L.A. Knight needs this win way more than A.J. does. L.A. gets the win. Next up, we have the WWE United States Championship match with Logan Paul defending against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. As hot as Randy Orton came back, he's definitely cooled off for a bit. Now that Logan has signed a full-time contract, I can see him holding on to this US title until SummerSlam in his hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. Next up, we have the WWE Women's Championship match. Io Sky defends against Bayley. I think even if Damage Control gets involved in the match, Bailey comes away with the championship on this one. Next up, we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. Seth freaking Rollins defending against Drew McIntyre with CM Punk on commentary. 
Seth has done a really good job with the heavyweight championship, but I think it's time that Drew gets a run and faces CM Punk in the near future. And finally, we have the main event of WrestleMania 40, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns defends against Cody Rhodes. Assuming that Cody and Seth lose night one, this is going to be a bloodline rule match. There's going to be hella shenanigans going on. Maybe some legends will be making an appearance. I don't know. Whatever happens outside of the ring, I think that Cody needs to get a clean win on Roman. He needs to finish the story this time. And I would love to see Rock somehow distract Roman or something at some point during the match so that Roman can take, I don't know, like a year off and then come back at next WrestleMania as a face to challenge heel Rock. And that's going to do it for our Stand and Deliver and WrestleMania 40 predictions. Be sure to let me know how wrong I am in the comments below. But don't wait until after the shows to do it, you loser. Do it now. I've been your host, Chill the Messenger. And remember, folks, don't kill the messenger.